Hey everybody, this is Edger Joe and welcome to another video in my series on Python and specifically while loops and uh, in today's um, challenge or problem uh, we're going to look at where we're going to ask the user to continuously enter a positive number until the user enters zero. If the user does enter a negative number we're going to ask them to enter a positive number and it all um, finishes when we press uh, zero, not P, not P, that should be a zero. Um, I actually have that already, so I can take this one out. Um, sorry, I was in two minds there. Okay, cool. So let's um, see how we start with this problem. So obviously we're going to ask them for a number. So we kick off um, the thing just like before. We're going to say um, declare a variable, and we're going to say num equals, uh, again we're going to say, uh, uh, oh no, num is going to equal uh, let's say minus one because remember we said um, it's going to be when they enter a zero so anything but a zero so the f initially we kick it off but we're going to change it as we enter it so let's start our while loop so while num is not equal oops yeah ooh, what did I do there not equal um, to zero then we can start the whole process so we ask them to enter a number um, and remember we're going to look at uh, comparing uh, integers so we do need to have um, an integer so int input and we're going to have um, enter a number enter a number and we put a little space there to make it look nice and neat and what went on oh there we go there's another common error um, so what I did was I started with two opening brackets but I did not close it with two closing brackets so let me just do that and now our cursor jumps to the correct position right and remember in the question it says if the user enters a negative number we must ask them to enter a positive number so we need to test that so we start with the if statement and um, we're gonna say if num is less than zero if num is less than zero that will be a negative number so this is how we test it then we're gonna ask them to enter another number so we need to input again so I'm gonna say exactly the same thing again int um, and I'm going to say input and then I'm going to have my two double closing brackets as before and I'm going to say enter a positive number enter a positive oh that's what I forgot here I just asked for a number it must be a positive number there we go so we asked them to enter a positive number if it's not so if it's a it's sort of a little error check as well so if it's a negative number that means less than zero then we're going to ask them again enter a positive number cool and um, otherwise or else um, we're gonna say that they have entered a positive number there we go so we're going to say um, is a positive number right and we're going to put num in front ding 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 there we go we're going to say num is a pos uh, positive number so we start off with a, a negative which is, it's not going to be equal so that's fine then we're going to set that value of the variable to hopefully a positive number it compares it whether or not it is positive and then if it's not, it's going to just say, okay, uh, please enter a positive number. Otherwise, it'll just print and whatever you entered is a positive number. And when you press zero, it'll come out of it. So that looks like it'll work. Let's see what happens if we run it. Enter a positive number, 12. 12 is a positive number. 54 is a positive number. Minus 32. Enter a positive number. So it recognized that it wasn't and then we're going to say let's do 77 and then 0. 0 is a positive number and it stops. Perfect. You could you could also um, put in another bit over here just to help your user to understand that they entered a negative number. Um, you entered a negative number. There we go. Now let's run it. And let's just see what happens. Enter a positive number, 23. Uh, I'm going to say minus 43. You've entered a negative number, enter a positive number. Um, and then I'm going to say 22. And then just get out of it with a 0. Perfect. So there's a little thing we can test whether or not 
the user entered a positive number. Um, and there's also one way you can do sort of a error checking um, just to make sure that the user actually enters what you've asked them to do. So if they don't do what you ask, you can sort of guide them into the right way to what you want. So I thought this is a neat little uh, problem to solve, which will help you in future uh, more challenging problems. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.